Obsidian Black in Gordo. Thank you for going out of focus. Come on. Okay, well, anyway, welcome to the Cigar Vlog. This is uh, a little bit of a newer cigar for me. I've never actually tried the Obsidian Black line before, especially not in a Gordo. I actually didn't know they made a Gordo. But as you can tell from the band, like I said on a couple of uh, reviews before, cigars come in basically three different sizes. Big, bigger, and holy shit. As you can see, this band is most of the cigar. And trying to mess with the focus is absolutely not working. There we go. Thank you. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, there is a huge, massive, massive cap. Comes all the way down to like here. I think it's uh, possibly a triple cap. And I just had to point that out. I don't usually point out the caps on it, but this one is just gigantic and takes up a good about half inch of the head, which is kind of nuts. Uh, I believe this is a Maduro, and uh, obsidians come in white and black. Uh, the black is the Maduro, and that's their standard line. The white is a newer line, and I think it's a Habano? I'm not entirely sure. I'd actually have to do some research and check that and actually smoke one of them. Or five. Or ten, or whatever. Anyhow. Uh, as you can see, Gordo size, absolutely gigantic. Uh, it seems to be a little bit on the Robusto end. So it's a little on the short side, but definitely a big bore for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut and lit. And I finally managed to get some fuel for my lighter so I don't have to dink around with matches or that stupid butane, which I'm just about ready to throw in the trash. Alright, anyway, I'm going to get this going and I'll get back to you then. Alright, so... I think I got a halfway decent light this time. It'd be nice if I was actually looking at the camera lens. So, straight away, uh, very, very heavy espresso coffee note. Uh, no spice, no pepper, maybe just a little bit, but not a whole lot, because they're not really enough to be noticeable. Overall, just a really big, bold coffee flavor. Very nice. Ooh, towards the end, a little bit of pepper. Nose has um, kind of a typical savory aroma on the retro hill. I think I never really get a whole lot out of that, so I'm gonna keep going along. But anyway, got a really, really excellent start on this. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get back to you about the first inch here, see if anything changes. My God, the grass is just ridiculous. I think this is right next door to a golf course, too. Alright, so, about an inch in. I'm still trying to figure out exactly how, well, how, how the best way is to smoke this. It's kind of short, so... Uh, I'm not entirely sure if I should be double puffing or single puffing. Because normally if you do a girdle, you have to double puff, otherwise you don't burn the wrapper. If you don't burn the wrapper, you don't get the flavor. I know there seems to be a bit of a discrepancy between Cuban smokers versus everyone else in the world when it comes to where the flavor comes from. Cubans believe it's the core filler, whereas everyone else agrees that it's the wrapper, including me. But anyway, so far, started off with a real, real strong uh, espresso kind of coffee, major roasted coffee note uh, right off the light. Uh, Kind of looking around, make sure there's no oddball bicycle or showing up out of nowhere. <laughs> but uh, after about an inch, it kind of mellows down to just a nice smooth coffee, clean tobacco, a little earthy, a little spicy, as in peppery spicy. And overall, just a very pleasant coffee cigar so far. Nice amount of foot smoke, crisp, clean of ash. Good flavor, too. Just gotta be real careful about double puffing on this because you want the wrapper to burn, but you don't want it to burn too hot, otherwise it gets bitter and nasty. And I've had a few of these where I've kind of done that because I feel overzealous. The overall aroma coming off the foot is just that nice, standard, uh, classic cigar smell. I feel like you walk into a cigar store and somebody's smoking something, and it's just that kind of warm and fighting smell that lets you know that you know there's gonna be something good for you in the store. So far, it's been pretty good. 
right, so I think the halfway point's about here. Considering that the band was uh, kind of a foot normal weird band, so I'm trying to figure out how to actually space this sucker up. So I figure halfway's about here. I'll go ahead and get back to you after about another inch and a half or so. And I hope to God that I don't end up running into that crazy old lady that can't breathe when somebody farts too hard next to a sunflower. All right, get back to the halfway point. Okay, so I've hit the halfway point. Echo, echo. And the ash just fell off. And uh, I'm going to say this is a very well constructed cigar. The ash held on for at least a good halfway. And I've actually had one of the ash hold on for almost the entire length of the cigar. Uh, so far, flavors have, from the first inch, have been kind of a smooth coffee. Uh, real strong note of coffee. I can't help but think I'm just echoing throughout this tunnel, but anyway, uh, yeah, uh, flavors have been pretty consistent. I have been noticing a slight cinnamon spice on the very, very tail end of the finish. Other than that, flavors have been pretty much unchanged. But so far, it's basically been uh, kind of had everything I look for in a good quality cigar. Quality construction, strong flavor, flavor you can actually discern. Good flavor, by the way. And, uh, so far, a, uh, just a pleasant smoking experience overall. Nice inviting aroma. Solid, solid performance. Excellent coffee cigar. I don't know if I necessarily recommend having a cocktail with it because I can't really think of anything that you would want with it except maybe a uh, black ocean. Maybe. Something with Kahlua. Something very, very coffee-ish for sure. Other than that, uh, I don't really have much else to say, but then it's, uh, I had a slightly stiff draw. I think that's just this one. Every other one that I've had in the back has been uh, actually pretty smooth. You know, silver resistance, not too bad. This one's been a little stiffer for some reason. So I just want this down to where the traditional band would be, and there's where the actual band stopped, which is about here. And we'll get that to you then. The bicyclists. Good thing. Okay, this is probably going to be the final update here because um, I've noticed that the flavor has been really dying down. It's been getting real hot. And um, I've also had to do a couple of touch ups here and there. Burn line is a little wonky. It's been stably burning like that, but I have had to do a couple of, uh, a couple of touch ups. That uh, gave me a little dry mouth. Uh, anyway, past the halfway point, the uh, coffee note kind of died down. They just turned into clean tobacco with a subtle coffee. Beyond that, flavors were pretty much consistent throughout most of the cigar. Start off real heavy espresso with a little bit of spice, like pepper spice. Then it got to a mellow coffee with a subtle cinnamon on the finish. Then the coffee started dying down and uh, it just kind of mellows out and lets you know what it's just about done. So this is about where the band of a normal cigar would be. Anyway. Uh, we'll go ahead and finish smoking this out, but beyond that, so far, it's been a really good cigar. Good for coffee. I don't know if I necessarily recommend an alcoholic drink unless it's like a coffee liqueur or something like that, or something with that. Beyond that, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about it. I'm pretty much expecting to get to just turn into hot tobacco from here on. So if anything changes, I'll go ahead and leave an annotation. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and uh, like, subscribe, hit the little bell button, because I guarantee you, as often as I upload, that's kind of an event. You want to know about that. <laughs> Also, you can check me out on Instagram. Uh, it's basically the same as my YouTube. I may throw a link in there if I remember to do it. I have a bad habit of forgetting that. Beyond that, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Nice day, a little hot. We just got weird. I was expecting. Oh, there he is. Bicycle. Oh, anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.